we're so grateful that you chose to virtually worship with us today. We are Aimwell Baptist Church of Mobile, Alabama. And listen, we're getting ready to go right into worship, but I need you to do two quick favors. One, I need you to block out every single distraction. Whatever happened this week, listen, if you can hear my voice, you've already made it through it, and you still may have some more to go through, but listen, whatever you do, don't let that block you from hearing the word that God has for you. And let me remind you, God has a word for you today. Also, brothers and sisters, if you're viewing this on Facebook, would you host a watch party or share this link on your page? Because we believe that real worshipers don't allow friends to worship by themselves. So listen, share this with your family and your friends. And listen, let's get ready to worship. Let's worship right now.
honor God for our worship ensemble who continues to lead us in worship. Come on, let's let's thank God for them. Let's thank God for their dedication and sacrifice that we still are allowed to come online and still worship as a family, even though most of us are sitting at home. But listen, we want to thank God for our music ministry that leading us uh, through their hard work and dedication that are recording uh, the various songs that they record to help us worship online. Listen, brothers and sisters, we're going to go ahead and continue uh, with our virtual experience. And listen, as a family, as a family, listen, we believe this, that a family that prays together stays together. A church that prays together stays together. Listen, let's go to God as a church family. Let's go to God as a church family because I still believe that even in sensitive times, even in tedious times, prayer still changes things. I still believe that the prayers of the righteous avail of much. Listen, let's go ahead and go to God in prayer. But what I need you to do, what I need you to do, if you feel comfortable, if you feel comfortable, you have a prayer request, your family, if you don't want to be specific, that's fine. You could just save my family or, or some things, some financial. Listen, whatever your prayer request is, would you go ahead and put that in the comments right now? Go ahead and put that in the comments. If, if you feel comfortable, if you don't, you can just put it on your heart as we go to God in prayer. But if, but I believe that there is strength in numbers and if not only will I be praying, but those in the comments will also be praying for you because we are one family and we believe in praying for one another. So listen, whatever prayer request you may have, go ahead. Go ahead and put that, put that in the comments. If not, just put it on your heart. And we're going to go to God in prayer. Go ahead and do it now. Go ahead. Amen. Listen, here we are. Here we are. And we got getting ready to pray. Would you bow your heads with me and let's go to God together. You pray at home as I'm praying aloud. God, first of all, we say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done, all that you continue to do in and through our lives. Thank you for how many times you have delivered us from stuff, God, that we didn't even know you were delivering us from. We didn't find out until years later, days later, months later, because sometimes, God, you don't wait for us to recognize that we need to be delivered, but you'll go ahead and deliver us and let us thank you later. So thank you, God, for how you have continued to work on our behalf, even when we have not necessarily worked for you. So we give your name, praise and glory, God, for somebody who is struggling today, who has some family issues, God, has some issues that are going on in their lives that are beyond their control. They prayed, they prayed, and God, they're still waiting, but God, help them to understand that God, that you give grace that allows them to deal with it until you deliver them out of it. That's why your word says that your grace is sufficient. Help them to find comfort that you have given them a grace to deal with it. That if you gave it to them, if you allowed them to go through it, that's only sim simply means that you have the power to take them through it. 
So God, help them to trust you when they can't trace you. Help them to go through whatever you have designed for them to go through because when they come out of that, they're gonna be stronger, wiser, and better because they've gone through with you. God, we pray for our church family to continue to keep us safe. We thank you for the recoveries in our church uh, during this pandemic. We thank you, uh, God, for, for the safety that you've allowed to be on our church. God, as you continue to, to do that, God, as we continue to meet in our driving, God, bless our time. Let, let nothing happen uh, that's outside of your will because you, we want you to get the glory for whatever we say and do. God, we give your name the praise and the glory. It's in Jesus' name we do pray. Everybody say amen, 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 amen. Listen, listen, brothers and sisters, we are so grateful again. I want to welcome those of you that are visiting with us today. Listen, if you are a visitor, if you are a guest, if this is your first time uh, worshiping with us virtually, listen, uh, we, we ain't stuck up at ain't well. Listen, uh, we believe it's a sin to be saved and stuck up. So if you are a guest, uh, would you type in the comments, I'm a guest, I'm a guest, so we can see you and recognize you and just show you some love. Uh, if you are a guest, amen, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that so we can uh, show you some love here uh, at the well. Listen, also, also, you you know what it is. We don't have fellowship time. I always challenge you every week, go find about three or four people. Three or four people. That's one, two, three or four. That's it. Don't find 10 people, find three or four people and go say good morning, say hello. Make sure you just say it's good to good to see your name on the, on the comments. Listen, take some time to say hello to somebody just to welcome them because we believe it's a sin to be saved and stuck up. We got to show some love. So listen, if you're a guest, if you're a member, whatever you are, let's let's speak. If you see somebody that says they're a guest, listen, show them how we love people on, at the well. Go ahead and show them some love. Go ahead and take some time and worship with us through our fellowship period. This is our cyber fellowship. Let's go ahead and fellowship together. Go ahead. Show some love. Show some love. Yeah. Go ahead. Show them some love. Show some love. Some of y'all, some of y'all still ain't spoken to nobody. Go ahead and speak. 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 Don't act like that. Come on. We we show love around here. Amen. There you go. There you go. There you go. Listen, brothers and sisters, also, also, why are you fellowshipping? Also, why are you fellowshipping? Why are you going to do that? I need you to multitask because uh, we still got to press because we got uh, a word that God has for us. And I can't wait for you to hear this word. Uh, and also, we're going to hear from our praise ensemble again right before the message. But listen, 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 brothers and sisters, our fellowship time. You should be done fellowshipping if you type in that slow Listen, we'll we'll pray for you with your speed typing. Amen. <laughs> so listen, listen, brothers and sisters, what we need you to do, I need you to, first of all, we're getting ready to give now. We're getting ready to give right before we go into our final song, before the message. We're getting ready to give now. But I do have this, this one important announcement. Listen, uh, we're getting ready for our next drive up, which is going to be on the first Sunday of July, uh, the first Sunday of July. And listen, uh, you know. Uh, in uh, Mobile, uh, the heat index during the summertime is horrific. It's horrific. And so because uh, we are always concerned with your safety, as well as the safety of those who are volunteering, I got to give a major shout out to those people who continue to serve, who are standing outside while you are sitting in the comfort of your cars. We are so grateful for them. But listen, with all of that in mind, July is a is a July to August are difficult uh, months because of the heat index. Because it just it's just crazy. It's a different kind of heat down here. Let me just say it like I want to say it. Listen, because of that, we're gonna start our drive-in service 30 minutes early. So as opposed to starting at 9:30, we're gonna start at 9 a.m., which means we need you to get there no later than 8:30 a.m. Listen, get there early as you can because, listen, once once we go ahead and get started, listen, once we get started, guys, it's going to be time to go. It's going to be time to go uh, because we what we want to do is keep you safe and cool. And normally in the morning time around 10 o'clock is when the, the weather kind of changes for the warmer, hotter side. And so we want to try to keep you cool so we can worship. So listen, just get up an extra 30 minutes early. That's all it's going to take. Go ahead and dress comfortably and cool. I can't say that enough. Dress comfortably and cool. 
dress comfortably and cool so you can uh, be cool and worship. Cool and worship. And listen, we, we got a great time. Our pastor's going to be back. Uh, and he can't wait. And I can't wait to see you at our next drive-in next Sunday. Next Sunday, we're going to be together. Okay, brothers and sisters. So listen, make sure you be reminded. We're not starting at 930. If you come at 930, you've already missed half of the service. Because we're going to have you out at 10 a.m. ish. We may go 10.03, 10.05. But we're going to have you out uh, no later than that time. So you can get home and get out of this heat. Uh, because we want to worship God, but we want to do it at the safest possible way that we can. Okay, brothers and sisters. So listen, 9 a.m. next Sunday. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. I need y'all to type. Let me know that y'all understand. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Make sure y'all tell everybody. Everybody. Lottie dot everybody. Tell them 9 a.m. We need to see you for our next drive-in service. Okay, brothers and sisters, we're so grateful, so grateful for that. Now, listen, 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 listen. We're getting ready to give, getting ready to give whatever means that you're going to give, whether you're going to mail it in, whether you're going to give online, whatever it is. Let's take a moment together as a family to give, whether you can give through Givelify, uh, which is a, a giving uh, app that can be found uh, on Google Play or at the Apple Store. You can also give online at the wellmobile.org. Also, you can give uh, through uh, by sending it to our P.O. box. Uh, that, that information is somewhere on your screen. Also, brothers and sisters, uh, you can also give through text to give, and that information and number is also on the screen. Whatever way you can give, let's go ahead and give together as a family. Uh, but right before we get ready to give, let's, let's, do, let's say how we always say it every single Sunday. Would you lift your gifts right where you are and say, Lord, thank you. Come on. Say, Lord, thank you. For another opportunity to give back to you a portion of what you've given to me. Amen. Listen, let's give together and let's also receive our worship team. And as soon as they get done, we're going right into the word of God. Be blessed.
members who are at home who are not able to be in our service. We want to say how much we miss you. We hope and pray that you and your family are well as we prepare to bring the word to our pastor, Pastor Jackson, and to the First Lady, to the Pastor Trey, to this wonderful choir. I've been waiting all the week to tell you that God is still good. Yes, sir. There's a passage in Psalms, one that we quote all the time. All right. Most of us do it respectfully and unexpectedly say it, but unconsciously really do not know what we're really saying. Because it's a custom we grew up hearing the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I'm going to jump down to verse 4 in the 23rd Psalms. Yes, sir. And it reads like this. Yea, you are born through the valley of the shadows of death. I will fear no evil. Yes, sir. For thou art with me. Yes, sir. Thy rod yeah. and thy staff. What, Reverend? What? They comfort me. So I want to talk to somebody this morning who I'm sure is going through something. Tough times. Yes, sir. Tough. It, it's bad enough. Just break the bad times. My, my. But when trouble has been compounded. Yes, sir. Uh, let, me, let me put it like this way that you get it. If it ain't one time. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. It's enough. Then the writer here talks about a walk. Not an ordinary walk. My, my. But he talks about walking through yes, sir. some bad times. There, there used to be a song that we used to sing, just a close-up walk with thee. Yes, sir. Does yes. anybody here remember that song? Yes, sir. Uh, then there was another one that we sang, walk with me though. Yes, sir. Walk with me. While I'm on this teacher's journey, what? I, I want Jesus to walk with me. Yes. Uh, then you would hear somebody in the back say, you walk with my mother. Yes, sir. Come on and walk with me. Me, you, you walk with my father. Come on and walk with me. I, when I read this, I, I thought about the train story, which is which is pretty simple. I'll make it real short. It, it kind of reminded me of, of the little boy who was trying to get home, and he he didn't have a ticket. And the train was just sitting there, so he got on the train. He, he didn't know no better. He knew he was lost, but he knew where home was, and he knew that the train was going towards his house. So he got on the train, the train took off. And as they got out on the road, the conductor came around and told him, said, where is your ticket? And the boy said, I don't have a ticket. He said, well, you, you, you can't ride the train. You know, it's bad when you want to be on something. Now. And out of the blue, yes. talk back to me if you can. Yes. Out of the blue, you get put off the train. Y'all ain't talking to me this yes, moment. Sir, the conductor stopped the train, put the little ball, they put the train in here, the train got off the track, it stopped. Yeah. The little boy was still back there looking at the train. The conductor said, What's wrong? He said, I don't know, it won't go far. But he said, Try it again. He put it in here, it moved a little bit, it got off the track, and it stopped. Yes, sir. Uh, 
And when he, when he looked back, he still could see the little boy. He said, go on up the road. He put it in, in, in the train, uh, went up the track with the bubble, and it stopped. The conductor said, well, why don't you try to reverse? They, they put it in reverse. And the train started moving back. That, that's the way life feels sometimes. Sometimes you want to go forward, but every now and then you got to back up. Y'all yeah, ain't talking to me yes, this sir. morning. But when the train got to where the little boy was, the train stopped. Yeah. And the little boy got back on board. Uh, sometimes the church will leave for yeah. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Yes, that it really needs to pick up. I need to stay right there just a moment. Yes, because sir. most of the time, church folk will leave door addicts. Come on, talk to me, somebody. We'll pass by alcoholics. I remember grandma and them used to sing a song, Back Back Train. Y'all yeah. ain't talking to me. Back Back Train and get your glory. Can I get a witness here? And, and we need to quit being in a hurry. Yes, but, but in this song, God is trying to tell us something, Mr. Mix. What, what, what? And God is speaking to us in Psalms 23 and verse 4. Yeah. He said, yeah, yeah. I wish to have some help here. Yes, Do I walk through the valley? Yeah. I wish to have a witness here. And, and the reason why God wants you to walk, because if you run, you're going to miss some stuff. Yes, Can I get a witness here? A whole lot of times, God wants us to slow down so we can see some stuff. Try it. Can I get a witness here? And, and when you're walking, you need to know every now and then you got to leave some stuff that's been holding you down in the past. Can I get a witness here? Every now and then you got to leave a road behind you because we'll drag some stuff that we don't need to carry with us. Somebody watching this video need to hear this. That was some folk that's been holding you back in your life. And you need to keep on walking through the valley and the shadow of death. Is there anybody here this morning? You need a closer walk with the Lord. But there's three things what, what, what? that we need to learn from walking with God. Number one is we need to learn how to take our time. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Because God is trying to show us something in the valley. Because in the valley, y'all, you can learn some things. You can learn that life will not always be up on the mountain. You can learn some things, y'all. Yes, and most of our problems have beat us down to the ground. And I get a witness here. Most of our lives have always been in the valley. And I'm not going to make this certain prejudice this morning, but black folk are really know what it's like to be down in the valley. And I get a witness here. The top of our message is tough times. And if there's It is our denomination. It is our black folk. And I get a witness here. But you need to know that in the world, it said, Fear not. And I get a witness here. And you need to know this morning that there's 365 fear nots in the Bible. There's 365 days in the year. And for every
you took the sting out of the grave. You even look back at it and say, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? This is where we put our trust. Now, we thank you now, Lord, that you are the God of God. There's no other God but you. Continue to bless your people and keep us as only you know how. We pray for the pastor of this church, Pastor Jackson. We pray for Pastor Trudy and his family who is in the town. We pray for the musicians. We pray for the choir, the church, the security guard. But most of all, we pray for every church under the sound of my voice. We thank you now, Lord. The things are as well as they are. They could be a lot worse. In Jesus' name, we pray this prayer. Let every heart say, Amen.